OneStepPrep.com, Quan and Joe, the J&J &J team, your friends in training program success. Have the absolute pleasure today of taking you on a pre-flight walk around of the beautiful 737 next generation model aircraft. So there's three ways that we can get pneumatics in this aircraft, by using his own engine, by using the APU, or by using an external pneumatic card that is gonna be here connected to the right side of the manifold. The APU is connected to the left side of the manifold. What divides the left manifold from the right manifold? The isolation valve. If you look at the panel here, this is exactly the same. The same thing that we spoke about the electrical, you're not gonna be flying with this. This is what you're gonna be flying. So if you take a look at the panel, it's exactly the same as the schematic. You have the engine bleed valves, left manifold, right manifold, isolation valve, APU bleed valve, two packs, engine bleed valves, APU, isolation valve, two packs, exactly the same. Yes, okay, now, normally, normally, if we're using the engine to get pneumatic from, normally we use the fifth stage. The fifth stage is normally the stage that we're gonna use to draw air so we can open the engine bleed valve. If the fifth stage doesn't have enough pressure to open the engine bleed valve, then the ninth stage kicks in and open the valve. Now, because of the ninth stage is further aft on the engine, the pressure and the temperature is gonna be higher. You see that? So what happened? So normally we use the fifth stage to open the engine bleed valve and then it's gonna go through a pre-cooler. The pre-cooler is gonna maintain the proper temperature around 200 degrees Fahrenheit after you pass the pre-cooler, and then it goes to the left manifold. But now, what happens when the, the bleed, normally we use the ninth stage. If you use the ninth stage, now the pre-cooler is gonna to have to work a little bit harder, right? Because the temperature is hotter, pressure, is, is higher and the temperature is even hotter now. So the pre cool is gonna have to work a little bit harder. So what it's gonna do is gonna send a signal to the fan air valve to open. So all this air from outside is gonna go through the fan air valve and it's gonna help the pre cooler to maintain the proper temperature. See that? Good? 